Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, hi, hello, my name is Helen. I'm so glad you could join me today. I am super excited for today's video. As always, I'm excited about every video, but this one is super exciting because I will be creating a vintage witch Halloween look. I love vintage looks. I love uh, doing my hair in a vintage style, doing my makeup in a vintage way. Uh, I don't do it nearly often enough, but I'm so glad I get to do it on YouTube for you guys. So yeah, today is going to be a vintage witch look. I will mainly be using Besame products. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I just really love Besame. They have such beautifully packaged items. Um, everything is just so gorgeous and it is all based on factual realistic vintage makeup so that is a lot of what I'll be using today I also have two new exciting items from them so they recently just released a skincare line they released two items in their skincare line I think there's going to be four total uh, but they did release their cold cream and their vanishing cream the cold cream is kind of like their makeup Makeup remover and then the vanishing cream acts as a makeup primer uh, so I'll be showing those to you as well today and then they're also going to be releasing in the future a day cream and a night cream there may be more but that's what I'm aware of so first I'm going to show you guys the new creams they have and then from there we're going to start with uh, makeup application it is going to be a fairly simple makeup look and then I will go into accessories and what outfit I would wear with this and then uh, that will complete the look so let's get started with their new items so the first item I'll show you guys is the cold cream so this is the Besame cold cream brightening cleanser with coconut oil and vitamin vitamin E and it is fragrance free which is awesome and I, as usual their packaging is just gorgeous and let's open this up so this is what the absolute gorgeous packaging looks like that's what the front looks like cold cream now if you're not aware of cold cream it is basically just like a makeup remover it's usually like if you were doing a multi-step removal system it'd be like the oil part of removing all the makeup um pons is been around for like years and years and years i actually um have used that quite a bit and i really like it uh, so this is going to be something similar to that. It also comes with a super cute little spatula so that you can grab the product from in the jar without, you know, making it messy. So I'm going to open this and smell it. It has a little protective cover and then that is what the cream looks like. It's probably a little washed out because it is white. It does not have a scent. It is fragrance free. It lightly smells like the ingredients. So I am, what I'll do is once I'm done with my makeup, I'll put maybe some like eyeliner and maybe some lipstick on my hand and we'll use the cold cream to see how well it actually removes the makeup. And then next up, we're going to get into the vanishing cream. Now the vanishing cream I'll be using as my primer today. I do have a fresh clean face. And again, very similar to the last one. This is what the packaging looks like. Very beautiful glass jars. Vanishing cream. And this also comes with that super adorable little spatula, which will be perfect for taking out, because I believe you just need a small amount. The other thing to note is their directions. So it comes with like a little pamphlet. Each of them comes with a little pamphlet. And then they go into like visual diagrams of how best to apply their products um, on each side. And it even includes their day cream and their night cream, which um, like I said, are not quite available yet, but they will be soon. I think they said maybe, um, the beginning of the year I'm not quite sure all right I'll go ahead and open this jar and again it has the protective layer this one again is still fragrance free but this definitely has a little more of a scent to it it just smells like ingredients it doesn't smell like anything let's see what did they say vanishing cream has meadow foam seed oil and vitamin a it just definitely smells like 
some sort of oil. So that's what the cream looks like, the vanishing cream. So I'm going to take a little bit with my spatula and apply it to my face. And I'm going to assume a little bit goes a long way out this guy. Feels good on the skin. My hair kind of has a mind of its own this today. I did do a uh, foam roller set on my hair. Um, my hair is the longest it's ever been, so it kind of didn't go how it normally goes. If you're interested in how to do a foam roller set, I will link up a video um, when I did my first vintage look and that includes like how I did my hair and everything. So I, I followed that same method. It just looks a little bit different because my hair is so long. I mean, it just isn't it's not quite sitting where I would normally like it to sit, but it's okay. It works for the purpose of this video. Okay. Does feel pretty good on my skin. Doesn't feel super oily. It has a little bit of a tackiness to it. It is a little bit shiny, but that's not necessarily a bad thing once the foundation goes on. I'll close this up. Wipe off my little spatula. Okay, so now we'll go into foundation. The foundation I'm going to be using, I've actually been using this uh, for a couple weeks at this point. Uh, I wanted to kind of test it before I mentioned it, but I'm using the Ordinary Colors Coverage Foundation. This is in shade 12Y. I really like this foundation. It was so affordable and it actually does a really good job. I'm really a big fan of it. So I am going to apply this with a foundation brush. And it doesn't have like anything like too strong of coverage, but it definitely has good coverage. And it does seem pretty buildable. I just really am a fan. foundation is on. Next up I will do some blush and I have the Besame uh, Cream Rouge in Crimson. That's what the packaging looks like and there's the blush and this is definitely a little bit goes a long way. And I will use a brush to kind of blend that in. Okay, and then we're going to go in with a little bit of a bronzer contouring shade. I have the Cashmere Powder Compact in Warm Tan. I don't think they have these anymore. I don't know if they're coming out with new ones, but... Um, I got this when they were having their like clearance type sale. So, and this is a little dark, so I'm going to go kind of light or attempt to at least. <laughs> All right. Next up, I'm going to go in with a powder. I feel like it's going super fast. I don't know if I'm like missing something or if I'm just like more efficient today. Um, but I'm going to go in with the Lucy's Face Powder. I got this when I purchased the I Love Lucy collection. Um, just super, super pretty. And this is a little light for me, but I think that'll balance the kind of darkness of the bronzer and whatnot. And I try not to go too heavy with this. So our base makeup is complete. And now we're gonna get into eyes. And to keep the theme going, I'm gonna go in with the Club Babaloo uh, eyeshadow palette, again, from the Lucy collection. And I'm gonna go in with uh, McGillicuddy Roots, and I'm going to do that all over the lid. Just a nice light dusting. And then I'm gonna go in with a Tropicana Taupe. I'm gonna do that in my crease. And 
then I'm almost wondering when I did the Lucy look, there were a couple other colors I didn't really touch on. I'm almost wondering if I should just play with those, like the light blue and the dark blue. I think that actually might be kind of fun. So I'm going to use Babalu on my lid. very lightly. That's kind of fun. I don't think I've ever done the light blue on my lid. And I'm obviously not going for a scary witch. I'm just going for a cute vintage witch. And then I'm going to go in with salesman blue and again just kind of pull that into the crease to deepen up the blue. I definitely don't want this to be like a whoa high look. Just a nice and light. I'm gonna go back in with my first brush and just clean up the edges a bit. Very nice. And then I will go in with, let's go in with Babalu and the lower lash line. Just nice and light. Perfect. I'm just gonna do a little bit more blending. Now we're gonna go in with brows. I have the Besame Mascara Cake in black, and then I ended up getting the refill they have in brown. So I'm going to use the brown on my brows, and then I'm gonna use the black as liner. Here's what the little brown cake looks like. It's like a little bar of chocolate, but don't eat it. All right, I need to wet this. Okay, so I added some water to the brown mascara cake, and I'm going to use this on my brows. I love how pigmented this stuff is. I'm gonna let it dry just a little bit and then I'll uh, go through with the spoolie and kind of brush it out a little bit. I really like that brown as my brow. That looks so nice. I'm definitely due for like a brow grooming. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think now what we're gonna do is go in with the eyeliner. So now I'm just gonna wet the black cake. And definitely a little bit goes a long way. And then I'm gonna use, I'll just use the same brush I was just using to apply the liner. I'm attempting to stay close to my eye line. And then I'm gonna do a bit of a wing. I am going to go in with the spoolie and kind of brush out my brows just a bit. Very nice. I really like the eyeshadow color. I think that looks really pretty. Okay, next up, I am going to do a very light coat of regular mascara and then I'm going to apply false lashes. Now, I do have the false lashes from Besame's um, Lucy collection. I think I'm going to go with the I haven't quite decided yet, but if I want to stick with doing Besame stuff, this will be the route to go. I think I kind of changed my mind on the lashes. I'm going to go with something a little more showy. Uh, I do want them to pop a little bit more. Those kind of just get lost in uh, like everything else that I'm wearing. So I'm going to go with a little bit of a more dramatic lash. So I'm actually going to go in with some lashes that I got from my Shein haul. I'm going to go in with these. Beautiful. I always forget how easily these go on. It's like some pairs of lashes are just horrible to put on and off, and some just go on so easily. Alright, and lashes are on just like that. So now we are going to move on to the lips. I did just recently get this lipstick. I am so excited. It is such a beautiful fall color. This is the Besame lipstick in color Blood Red. And it is just this gorgeous, gorgeous, deep 
red. So we're gonna go with this on the lips. I am gonna start though with a lip liner. And this again is from the uh, Lucy collection. So this is the Precision Lip Liner Pencil in the red shade. And I'm just gonna use this to line my lips pretty naturally. Fill them in as well, just to kind of act as a good base for the lipstick. Oh, love, 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 love. I love it. I think the like blue shadow with the red lips is just so beautiful and so vintage looking, such vintage vibes. So that is it for the makeup portion of my vintage witch look. Um, I do have one accessory to put on. I really think it's so adorable. I got this from Amazon and it's a little witch hat headband. So I will carefully put this on, try not to ruin the hair. And then I'm gonna have to shrink myself down a bit so that you guys can see it fully in frame. I am going to tilt it just a wee bit. So this is my finished vintage witch look. I think it is just super cute, super precious. Now we're going to go into what outfit I would wear with this look. Uh, it could be something as simple as like this black sweater and a cute, uh, I have this really cute green plaid skirt from Mod Cloth. And again, because I really love Mod Cloth, everything that I'm going to show you guys is uh, from mod cloth so let me pull that up now so the first item that i would wear is the creepy kooky velvet swing dress i think this dress is super cute it has like the super nice little collar like a velvet collar and velvet trim it has really adorable little details on it i think that and you could even maybe do like a what is it called you put them under your skirts to puff them out Pinafore? No, what is that called? I have to look that up. Um, make skirts poofy. Petticoat. What did I call it? A pinafore? What is a pinafore? A petticoat. So you could wear like a black petticoat under it to make the skirt a little fuller. Um, pinafore. What is a pinafore? Pinafore. I'm even saying it wrong. Oh, okay, so pinafore is like a, almost like a dress version of overalls. So no, not a pinafore, but a petticoat. Uh, so you could wear that dress with a petticoat or even just as is. Uh, and then a pair of black tights and then like a super cute pair of pointed uh, kind of like witchy looking shoes. I think that would be super adorable. And then of course, maybe carry around a broomstick. Uh, like I said, I got this little hat from Amazon. I will link it down below if they still have it. It is a couple years old, but I'm sure they either have it or something very similar. And I will make sure to link that down below. But yeah, so this is my completed witchy look. I think it's super adorable. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I post new beauty content every Wednesday and Sunday and then I post lifestyle content on Fridays. So today's video and then Wednesday's video is going to be my last Halloween look. Fridays is going to be so so exciting. It is going to be an Australian uh, snack swap with a friend of mine, Mary Danny, uh, who's also a YouTuber. And uh, so that's going to be Friday's video. And then Sunday after Halloween, I will be taking that off. I'm going to be visiting friends that weekend. Uh, but then I will be back November 3rd. Nope, I will be back November 4th with my first holiday video. So uh, looking forward to that and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.